Hey man, this Texas buzz. Little Tuesday just pulled up. Finna go out to the front and let him in. Alright ladies and gentlemen, rappers and trappers, welcome to the Texas Buzz Drinking Games, episode 1. Today we got a very special guest, he came all the way from where the Mavericks play. You might know him from songs like Sour, Sold Up, Blowing My High, or if you're a real OG fan, you might know him from Head Above Water. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, h 2 GMB's finest, Lil Toozy. So we're gonna have three rounds today, fam. We're gonna do flip a cup versus my special guest co-host Eliza 1K. Hey, one day. Then my boy Audi Beats over here. He's gonna run the chandelier oh, round, and then I'm gonna run the beer pong round. So let's get it. All right, so round one, we're gonna be playing flip a cup. Eliza 1K is gonna run this one. It's gonna be three rounds. Each round you lose, draw a question and take a shot. Each round she loses, she takes a shot. Let's go. Round one. All right, so. On your mark, get set, go. How they supposed to flip upwards though? No, we gotta land like that. Anyway, yeah. all right, yeah. good. All right. For sure. This this one was requested by you, fam. Hell yeah. This what you like to drink or what? Yeah, I fuck with that. Hell yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, we about to go round two of the first round. Let's go, flip a cup, let's set it up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. We forgot about the question. Let's go. You gotta, you gotta draw a question and give it. Just give us an honest answer. Right, draw a question from the question book. Do you like females who make their own money or a female who needs you? Shit, I say females who make their own money. It really just depends on who. Hell yeah! Hey. Hell yeah! It really just, just depends on the type of female I'm fucking with. I'm I fuck, got you. If I fuck with her, I'm gonna do it for her. Yeah, know, yeah. Man. Hell yeah, for sure. Alright, round two. Let's go. Run it. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah. oh shit! She's been in this house, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Buzz one, let's go. Order up. <sighs> Hell yeah. Alright, <laughs> right, Eliza, you lost a round. Go ahead and draw a question, please. Okay. What is one thing you regret in life? Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Nah. No regrets. Ah. What is one thing you regret in life? Nothing? That's cap. Shit, I guess. Nah, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. All right, I'm bet. I'm let's run it with nothing. Let's go. Hey, final round. Eliza, let's fucking final go. Round. Down your market, set, go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. That's another no, shot, Liza. No, let's no. go. Give me a shot, yeah, shot. I should have been missing on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, cheers. Hell yeah. All right, round two is going to be Chandelier with my boy Audi Beats. Everybody's going to grab a die. We're going to roll the die. Highest number goes first. If you grab a ping pong ball and you make it in here, you're safe. The rest of us are going to have to drink our cup and flip it. Last one to flip it takes a shot, answers a question. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. So. Seven. Oh, five. We got five. 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 And three. All right, so you're going to shoot first. If you make it in here, you know how it goes. Let's go. It's just one bounce, right? Yeah, it's just one bounce. Okay. In the middle. Yo, let's go! Drink! Drink your cup! Drink your shit and spin it. Let's go. 
drink that shit. <laughs> you heard me, I don't even play the drink game, hey. We're supposed to get him drunk. <laughs> hey, all right, I'm safe. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So now you take a shot and answer a question. And now that leaves, oh, shut up. That leaves us in the game. Yeah, I'm trying to go out after this. I need to make it through to another shit. Alright, so since we couldn't get him, we're gonna run one more round of chandelier. Let's see if we can get him this time. Round two. Alright, one more round starting now. Let's just go with one die. Everybody grab one die. Grab one. Alright, everybody kind of shoot it right here in the middle. Highest one goes first. Alright, we got a four. Three. 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 Two. two. Alright, so I got a four. I'll go first real quick. All right, your turn. Oh my God! Macaroni boys, macaroni boys, macaroni boys, macaroni boys. Hell nah, nigga, we ain't giving no leeway. We hawk a nigga ass down on that freeway. One thing I know, I can trust him. Hell yeah! Got my boy Audi B's poured up. All right, so we're about to hit to round three. Hell yeah. All right, so we're about to hit to round three. Tuesday's going to play beer pong versus me. Let's go. Three shots in, and the game's over. Every shot that I make, he takes a shot, answers a question. Every shot that he makes, I take a shot. Let's go. All right, so he just beat us two out of three rounds. We're about to go to the third round, play some beer pong. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves. All right, bro, so we're going to run a quick eye to eye, see who gets the first shot. Eye to eye on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Hell yeah. All right, so... All that means is I'm going to go first. All right, so we won the eye to eye. We're going to go ahead and shoot for the first round. Let's go. Hell yeah. You know what that means? Let's take a shot and answer a question. Let me pour you up. Let me pour you up. <laughs> he said I'd be playing this shit. Nah. Time to time. We're, we're going to start. This is episode one. Let's go. I don't going to hit two in a row like that. <laughs> hey, here you go. Do you ask for your things back after a breakup? <sighs> Shit. It, it depends on what and it depends on who. You know what I'm saying? Like, All right, so what's something you would ask for back? Like, what? what's... Like is it a... I buy a bitch a car. I'm, I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit like that. You know what, what about a chain? You, chain. You spend a rack on a girl's chain, you get in that back? A rack? Yeah. Nah, she can keep that. All right, hell yeah. <laughs> Hell like yeah. Anything on some like, on some, on some high bands. On some 10 bands and up, you're getting that shit back. Five bands up. Six Five bands and up. Like purses, clothes, shoes. Nah, you can keep all that. I bet. Man, that's what's up. Ready, that's what's up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so that means a shot for me. I gotta move this cup on. All right, we got one on one. Let's go. One. one. Two to one. Let's go. No Tuesday's fucking us up today, bro. Three for three, Lil Tuesday just kicked our ass. In chandeliers, beer pong, and flip a cup. Let's fucking go. Real quick, we're gonna set up the mics and we're gonna try to get a little podcast. We're gonna try to get to what's going on with Lil Tuesday. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Texas Buzz Podcast. We got a special guest in the building. We just finished our three rounds of the drinking games. We got Lil Tuesday in the building. Lil Tuesday, yo, yo, yo. What's up, what's up? Hell yeah, bro. Talk to me, bro. Where you been at? What's new? See, just working, getting to it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, how'd you feel about the drinking games? Was it something new? You ever done something like that? or? Nah, nah. I, don't, I don't even be playing. I played it one time. We mm -hmm. did a little uh, family event on Christmas, I think. And I said, 
You play some little games like flip the cup and shit. I ain't, play, yeah. I ain't yeah. never played beer pong or none of that other no shit. No beer pong? That fucking chandelier nah, shit. Yeah, nah, I ain't <laughs> yeah. that shit either. Yeah, you were mentioning that you're not much of a drinker to begin with, right? To play these games or, or do you, you still drink? I just drink, drink on occasions. Like, mm-hmm. It just depends on the occasion. Yeah, right. definitely, definitely. You're more pickier on that side. Yeah, I'm the same way too. I don't like to drink too much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. but you hold it down pretty good. You, hey, you nah, play, you play it in crazy, bro. I was like surprised that we you lost won like three every, for three yeah, rounds, like, bro. Stop playing three for three. Buzzer right. beater and everything. Yeah, so. I'm like, bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hey man, let's let's start with uh with the name Lil Toozy, fam. Uh, where'd you get your name Lil Toozy? I haven't seen this answer in any interviews. Mm-hmm. Shit, it really came. It stemmed from. Uh, childhood named g2 okay my stepdad you know they was doing rapping and shit and he called all his step kids and his kids g1 like little g's like we was little gangsters so g1 are. g2 g you know what i'm saying and go yeah. on from there. i mean my little brother he g1 i'm g2 so that's how it came about okay and as i got older it came it, in it just stuck two. with you kind of type shit yeah, yeah yeah i fuck with that all right hell yeah and uh, to my understanding, you were born and raised in Dallas, or am I, am I wrong? No, you were born and raised in Dallas, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Where did you did you stay there all your life? Have you ever moved out of Dallas or? Uh, no, nah, not really. I just moved all around Dallas, like. Okay. I've been, mm-hmm. I've been in everywhere. You know what Every saying? hood in Dallas. Hell yeah. yeah. Hood. I've been trying the suburbs a few times. Hell yeah. And back to the hood. So I've really been everywhere. I got you, bro. I got you. Um. I keep up with you on social media. You're not you're not really active as in like uh, you know posting anything about your mm-hmm. life or anything. You're not too much into the blogs for any drama, any bullshit like that. It's always just strictly business and music. Uh, one thing that came up on the blogs that one thing we posted on Texas Buzz was a uh, A to Z trucking. So that's yeah. that's that's a uh, that's something you went into uh, like the trucking business and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I just started that, but like I'm in the middle of trying to transpiring and getting a bigger truck cause okay okay there's yeah. different shit that i ain't know about the company like i'm still learning as i go with this shit, i got so. you definitely you're just getting your, you're just getting your feet wet with it and shit. shit yeah, yeah. hell what, yeah bro. what got you into that you don't mind me asking like what what was it like hey man maybe i there's something that i can shit, venture to see i just i really just did my own little research on it mm-hmm. like i got like i don't plan on rapping forever, forever yeah you for know sure what I'm so i gotta get into some different businesses and Get some other shit going just in case. You Most know, definitely. You, never know. you gotta have different uh multiple streams of income. Right. You can't just be focused on your rap side. For sure. That's Hell dope. Yeah. yeah, I rock with that. You're thinking long term at the end of the day. Yeah. You ain't thinking short term for it. That's dope. Like I got a little uh oil field. I own oil fields, two acres of oil fields in Oklahoma and shit. Like oh that. nice. Oh, shit. That's dope. Yeah, that's the real life. I'll be trying to just dip in everything and yeah. see how it go. There's Hell always yeah. opportunity for sure, yeah, especially yeah. in that in that kind of category in, in West Texas. So I can imagine only in Oklahoma how crazy it gets over there yeah, too. Nah, for sure. So when you went about that, you you bought some property with some rigs on them, or, or what, uh, what it was kind of like a package deal. They they already do the rigs and they already drain it out the ground and shit like that. I just get a check every month. Yo, that's what, that's legit. I've never heard of a rapper say he's he's got some business with the oil rigs and gets a check like that. That's oh, hard, sure. bro. That's that's money that's, Hell yeah, yeah not for oh, sure. Definitely. Especially one thing we know down here, like real I know West Texas West is super Texas. popular, like Odessa Midland, but right here in Carrizo Springs close to us, like down here, it's oil rigs is booming fast. Yeah. Yeah. You that see someone stuff. in a lifted truck on twenty fours, twenty sixes, they they probably working the <laughs> yep. oil rigs, yeah, fam. It's, sure. it's big out here in Texas. Oh, Hell sure. yeah. That's what's up. You said they're in Oklahoma though, right? Yeah, it's in Oklahoma. That's what's up. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Definitely, man. Well, I mean, we're kind of going into your music, man. I mean, from what I I know, right, from what I've done in my research, I I see that your first types of uh, songs that you had, uh, I guess uh, on platforms were around you know 2016, right? But how long have you been rapping? If you don't mind me asking, like, you have been doing this as a kid? Like, was it something like you like you said your stepdad? Like when he brought you into that, was that something that was like, yeah, this is me. I want I want to do this seriously. Or was there a moment in time later on in life where you're like, you know what, I could do this for real? Yeah, shit, basically, that's exactly how it went. Like, yeah. my stepdad, like I told you, my uncles and them, all them, they had set up a little studio in the den and we had a house on in mm-hmm. Haven. So they set up a little studio in there and shit. And one day he just told us, go off in there and just rap. He said, y'all can do what y'all want to do, that's say dope, what y'all want to say. So we went in there, me and my cousin, and we made a little song and shit. And, that point on, I was just writing in my journal and shit like that, and then yeah. I got a little older, and I, that's when I started learning how to make money from it. So, mm-hmm. when shit was going good. I just said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Let's give it a try." And it started. Do you still you still remember okay. the first song that you made? Like the name, I guess, of the, of the first song you ever made. It was really on some like 
I don't remember the name of it. I remember writing it though. I remember yeah. it was like some some Jesus shit. Like yeah. at that time we was going through some fucked up shit. And mm -hmm. I used to just like, you know what I'm saying, just put all my thoughts on paper and shit. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah. It was kinda like a prayer. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like a vent kind of way, like I'm letting this out type yeah, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. I rock with that, man. Uh mm -hmm. one of the questions we didn't get to, it was in the index cards. Uh Eliza made this question for us. She was saying, uh, what was your I made it moment? Like, what was that moment where you feel like, oh shit, like I'm I'm gonna make it, like I made it, you know? Shit, when I moved my mom out the hood and got a mm -hmm. home in the house. Hell yeah, that's, that's a I crazy like. moment. It would, that ain't, I don't never feel like I just made it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was a my first a stepping step. stone, yeah. a, a huge stepping stone my buying your mama crib. Step, yeah, cause it was a lot of shit going on. Yeah, at that time, you know what I'm saying? It was putting her in danger and all kind of shit. So okay. I feel like that was a big weight off my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like you got too into the streets where you put your mom in danger, you put your family in danger, or you had to take her out of that, or you it feel was, it was just a whole bunch of shit going just, on. Yeah, yeah, just some daddy yeah. shit, just. Yeah. Hell yeah. So Congratulations just, on that though. I appreciate you. Appreciate Hell yeah. you. Definitely, man. Hell I mean, yeah. Props to you on the on the A to Z, on the business, on the trucking. Mm -hmm. Props to you on that, fam, and props to you on the oil rigs. That's that shit. That, that's some shit all these rappers are looking up to for sure, yeah. fam. That's man. like generational wealth. Hell no, yeah. So. People Hell don't be yeah. thinking about that at the end of the day, but I mean I think that's really uh, like especially you speaking about it, it really inspires a lot of people that are starting off in rapping to, you know, to not only focus on the rap side also, you know, but mm -hmm. focus on developing different types of income. So, you know, right. that's crazy that you're able to do that and find different ways to make money, not just be off of the rap. Right, no. You know sure. what I mean? Hell yeah. Every day, I'm thinking about the next move. Man. Hell yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Gotcha. I got you. Definitely, man. Well, for me personally, man, like, I, I, I like to really research, you know, uh, a lot of the songs and stuff like that. And like I said, I, uh, I know one of your... Uh, I think it was 2017, 2016, Head Above Water. That was like the yeah. one of the biggest ones that when you when you first had that song drop and it got that motion that you that you you know speaking, received from it. Speaking of that, yeah. what's up with the video, fam? I look it up all the time. Yeah, I don't yeah. see the video on YouTube. See, Is it still up or? See, when I first had started, like I said, I was learning and shit, mm -hmm. so okay. I ain't know you had to. You know what I'm saying? Like buy master beats and shit like mm -hmm. that. Oh, okay. You yeah, just use the beat off of YouTube. No, but as soon as that bitch blow up, that's when they be like, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. bitch. It's my yeah. shit, yeah. But he actually, he actually reached out to me after it got took down and he was saying, like trying to work something out. And, but you know, all the views and shit gone yeah. now. So it was like, yeah. I'm cool. You didn't want to nah. re-upload it ever? I fuck around, do something with it. I probably, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's that shit. That video's history, fam. Like yeah, straight up, that's yeah, that's no. a way younger version of you, just you know, popping and shit. That yeah. that that's one of the videos that stamp. that like I was introduced to you, fam. Like cruising, head above water, like like way back then. So mm -hmm. that video is mm -hmm. definitely a piece of history, fam. Yeah, Hell yeah. So. You got a copy of it and everything though, like. Yeah, I got the video somewhere. I, it's not okay. on my phone and shit. I know I got That's somewhere. all that matters. Yeah. send it to me. He's like, yeah. <laughs> we gonna link it up after? Yeah, no, definitely for sure, man. But Hell yeah. I, it's, I see other people always re-uploading it and shit. But, oh, you know, shit. It Reactions and yeah. shit. Yeah. I hear you. Of course, um, man. So go, still sticking to the music, uh, H2M, H2GMB. Mm -hmm. H2GMB, what does that stand for, fam? That's your record label, to my understanding? Yeah, it's like record label, family, you know, everything. Yeah. All mm -hmm. above, That's like, the fam? So I'm like my fans to me, that's that's my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it stands for Get Money Boys. That's the GMP part, GMB part, hustling under constant hatred. And there's two H's in it. Oh, that's, so that's dope. The H two, and then the two just always been my number. You know what I'm saying? Hell so yeah. That's how. That's really how it came about. When it when in H two GMB, I've seen a I've seen a recent uh one of the songs. Audi was just talking to me about it. Uh, mm -hmm. Macaroni Boys. Oh, mm -hmm. Macaroni He wanted to ask boys. you. Yeah. Yo. Bro, that's my jam, dog. Hell I was like, yeah. like, bro, replay that again, dog. Replay that again on the way over here, man. I'll fuck with it. But yeah. my question was, like, you know, like, if you don't mind me, like, what, what, what is the meaning of a macaroni boy for yeah. you? Like, what is that meaning for you? Shit, that's really something me and my cousin came about. Uh, shout out H2Herb. Yeah, H2Herb. Yeah. H2Herb, yeah. H2Herb, shout out. But me and him, like, it's really on some, like, we met, we got Max, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. You know, we done, you know what I'm saying? Did Definitely. A lot of shit, yeah, so, yeah. You know, that's my dog. I do everything with him, like from the ugly yeah. to the ugly. So, mm -hmm. you know, we just came better on some macaroni boys. It's yeah, about, it's some money getting shit too. Definitely, you know what I'm like, start the year right, real strong with yeah, that song for no, sure. sure. So H two Herb, who else? Who else is a who's an H two uh, artist else besides H two Herb? See, we got H two Herb. Mm -hmm. We got Rizzo. Mm -hmm. We got Lil Nine. H two Lil Nine. We got Lil Nine. G and B Jigga. We got 
it's, it's a it's really a that's feeling, hard that's a hard name yeah, GMB. Yeah. That's to start. yeah that's what's up i'm gonna tap in fam I, I've, I've uh i've heard your song macaroni boys ways to herb mm -hmm. uh I'll, I'll tap in with the rest of y'all so is it a label like you know, a family label, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like a conglomerate know, type deal. Fuck yeah. We not yeah. a gang. It's like nah, it's hell not, no, like no, no. everybody you see me around, I've been around since we was little, you know what I'm Yo. saying? Like it ain't no no new shit. Or nah, nah. Recruiting niggas and shit. Nah. Yeah. Like, half of them, my family, half of them, I just been around since I was little. <clears throat> I got you. Definitely, yeah. definitely, man. I mean, I know last the last meeting before this one, right? The, your last drop uh, album was on April, right? So for this uh this new single that you dropped this uh, month, like, do you have anything planned for future like song releases? You got anything crazy in the works that you you know? Uh, right now I'm just working on. Uh, I got a tape I'm getting ready to drop and shit. I got all the videos, damn near all the videos put up. But right now, like, I lack on the promotion side with all my music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to work out a strategy and shit to get the promotion side going on. Get my name out there a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? So definitely, that's really it. How's it been with you? You know, I mean, because you've been in the game for a little bit, minute now, right? But you've had your successes, of course. You know, mm -hmm. YouTube and streaming power and platforms and stuff like that. Um, do you think that the game is changing constantly for you, like in terms of like, you know, I gotta find different ways to market myself, push my music out there, or do you feel like it's kind of the same thing as in terms of like when you first started, when it was just a kind of an organic thing? Uh, the rap, the the rap industry definitely changes, mm -hmm. but. But you got a real loyal fan base though. Like yeah, you nah, still sure, have like a sure. huge real like yeah, for sure, loyal so. fan base. I see that. But when it come down to me, I'm not, you know, I'm not the type that's just gonna change with yeah. it. You know, I'm a, I just do we just do us. You, you know? just do yeah. what you what you wanna do and people rock with it type they thing. They rock with it, they yeah. rock with it, they don't fuck and we don't, we ain't doing no tripping. Hell yeah, when it comes down to like label label offers and like labels. Have you mm -hmm. been like a ton of label meetings? Like, have you been, if you had offers on the table and shit? Yeah, I had a few offers. Mm -hmm. um, I actually finna we in the middle of like a little distribution deal thing, okay. but it's a lot of legal shit going on with For it. For sure, kind of messy, but hell yeah, I had a, a few label major label offers and shit. It just didn't make sense at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, but. I really, I'm really not a fan of labels. You know I hear saying? you. Yeah, Definitely. that's one thing in your lyrics. I always pay attention to, and a lot of your songs and a lot of your lyrics, you're always talking about being independent, and you take a lot of pride in that, and I, and I yeah. respect that. That's that's what's up. Yeah, yeah I do a lot of shit independently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of labels offer what you know I can already do for myself, so it really yeah. just don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? That's Hell good yeah. though that you was able to recognize that. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people just see like the way little dollar signs face. and be ready yeah. to be like, mm -hmm. "Oh, bitch, here go." Hell right, yeah. Right. Definitely. It just gotta make sense. That's all. Was there ever a moment where you were like about to sign, or like you were just like, "Yeah, this sounds right," and then you kind of backed out last minute, or nothing ever seemed like like added up too good? Uh, it was a while, like a couple years back, they offered me like a million, two million dollar deal. I was yeah. still kind of young, but Shh, it was crazy. just on some shit like it just didn't make sense. It type didn't make deal. sense. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like. Like what's the catch type deal? Like yeah. why are you doing this? It, it come down to like the the points and or yeah, like they were gonna own too much of your masters. All the little shit that yeah. matter, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. The money there, yeah, but it's all the other shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I need all my other shit for sure. And the back end and shit, like it looks nice at first, but mm -hmm. like in you know in ten years from now, five plus years, you know, I get yeah, you. Yeah, so longevity shit. Hell yeah, definitely no man. I, I think that it's like I like independent artists as well. Like you said, just because like you have your own stream of income and if big you know labels are offering you some something i think like it works only if it's in your favor in terms of like you know what i know what i have to offer them um, you know in the in the deal like let's work something out but do you right. feel like a lot of these times these companies are like you know these distribution the ones that actually reached out to you do you think they kind of try to do this a lot to artists like new artists upcoming and stuff like that and what kind of advice would you give artists that are like getting these type of opportunities that hey like I got her up. Yeah. Lawyer up. Like, what would you advise them to do? Yeah, lawyer up for sure. If you're thinking about signing, but mm -hmm. I advise, like I always tell any artist that asks me, I always advise them, like, if you're doing good on your own, just stick with it by stick yourself. Stick with it, just keep working. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get yeah. to where you need to get to if you keep mm -hmm. working. No matter what, no matter how long, it might take a little minute. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna get to where you get to. It's just. That label shit is just tricky, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's all business at the end of the day, you know yeah. what I mean? It's how you work with that business. But like I said, it's some artists that they need that, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, it's some artists that you can't blame them for signing or you can't blame them for yeah. signing to these other artists. Like, some Definitely. people need that. A lot of people can't build that shit just straight up off the ground and shit. Like, Hell it's yeah. not 
it ain't no no like make it funny you shit because you sound high. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like some people really it, it, it helps them out. Yeah, you know it makes saying? sense. It helps them out and like it I makes said, it better for the community. If it makes sense in your situation, then do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you're doing good on your own, I advise you not to. Hell yeah. There you go. Um, one thing I've seen you do, I mean, I've watched almost all of your music videos. Uh, a question I had was, what was one of the most fun videos I have? One of the, one of the craziest ones oh, that I seen yeah. was Sour. We were watching yeah, Sour. Yeah, we watching that one crazy. That video is fucking bro. insane, bro. Crazy yeah. video. What was the funnest music video you've ever <laughs> shot and filmed? It was actually probably would have been that one in yeah. uh, Tuesday, Montana. Yo, Tuesday, yeah, I rock with that one. Yeah, when he showed me Sour, I was like, Yo, this is a crazy ass like concept yeah. just to come up with that. I, I mean, did you come up with that, or you had the director that he kind of? Nah, I came up with all that. That's it, yeah, that's crazy, bro. So yeah. you went up to videographer like, bro, I want aliens, I want this, <laughs> yeah, I want. And he I just made him, it happen. Like, or like I told him like the the subject of how mm -hmm. I want like the main shit I want and kind of like the lineup of how I want. It. He kind of put his own the details and shit. Yeah, yeah he yeah. put his own little mix in there, but. <laughs> that video is hard. Check out check out Sour by Lil Tuesday for on real, YouTube. For real. That video go crazy. That's one of my favorite ones. Tuesday Montana too. Uh, when when they dropped the guy from the from the helicopter, is that like an actual dummy or is, was that just like a, an effect or? Uh, no, nah, that was like a um. Like they actually threw a dummy on the helicopter. Yeah, it wasn't no effect. Was <laughs> oh like, shit! Hell yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah two of the hardest videos I've seen for sure, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely, man. And I see a lot of like one video that I I saw in particular that like had a lot of views was the one that you have with Quinn, right? And yeah. I see that you constantly work with him, you know? How did that interaction, like, become? Like, how did you guys end up, you know, meeting together? And like Quinn's from Austin, right? Yeah, yeah like, yeah. how did that link up? And how did you, like, because, I mean, you have him on multiple stuff, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm sure you rock with him. Like, how how did that get to happen? Uh, we actually came about, it was an artist, it's an artist from my city. Well, mm -hmm. he really from Fort Worth, named CJ Casino. Oh, okay, yeah. CJ, yeah. CJ he, Casino. He, he basically kind of linked us up, you know what I'm saying? Like, he paid a feature for... Him and a few other people, and then he asked me, "Do I want to get on a song and shit?" Hell yeah! yeah. Which, uh, is that the is that the one? Uh, what was Nick to a brick? Okay, yeah. Yo. yeah. Hell yeah! With uh, Beto, or what's his nah, name? Nah, nah, nah. You talking about yeah, yo? You talking about Red Bottom? Red Bottom, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Red Bottom. That's yeah. for sure. Hell yeah! Yeah, because every time I've seen a, a, a link up with you and Quinn, man, it, it always goes crazy. Yeah, always no, goes no. crazy. I've seen him yeah, on YouTube, yeah, and you at least hit a million. So like, it, people love that combo for sure. Nah, so, like, they love that shit. They yeah. love that combo, bro. So I mean, like in your situation, that's at twenty million views. It's yeah, sold up. Sold up's at twenty ends, bro. That's so, crazy. Like, what what kind of chemistry do you find when you're working with artists? Like, what do you look for? Like, let's say, like in a in a I guess like an, a, a rapper like yourself or a producer. Like, what kind of energy are you looking for the people like? That you want to work with that makes you want to be like, yeah, I could I could work with this person more constant. He's workable with, you know. See, really, just authenticity. Like, you authentic. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, you ain't trying to be something you're not. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, of course. That's why half the time when I do features, I gotta be in the studio with them. You know. What okay. I'm saying? So it's kind of like, if I feel you out, I feel you out. If yeah. I don't, this yeah. might be the last time we fuck around. Yo, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Queen, that's my dog. That like we been we been locked in for a minute. Yeah, no, y'all yeah, guys have some bangers for sure, man. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, man. But, I mean, for you on your side, I mean, going back to, you know, all these artistries that you say you don't, you kind of just do more futures on your side. Has it always been, like, that kind of perspective with you? You've always kind of just wanted to always do your own thing and, you know, or do you think that collabs actually help out in terms of, like, your image with, you know, growing with people and having people to notice you more? Like, for you, how was your experience for that? For me, I really just collab with who I fuck with, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But collabs do, you know what I'm saying? They do increase yeah. views and image and all that shit but like i said i'm really just not yeah. that type of you know what i'm saying yeah. are you like kind of picky when it comes to like uh, i i might do this feature yeah, have you, or have you rejected like, a feature yeah. like like i can't fuck with you bro yeah, i'm sorry yeah, i rejected a few features Yo. but it's just yeah. like it is what it is type deal you know what i'm saying like i don't just fuck with everybody you know what i'm saying i had mm -hmm. a manager at a, at a point in time where he'll just send me mm. tracks and shit and there'll be features and it'll be for the money but like at the same time you gotta understand like yeah just it come down to a relationship and all kind of other shit. Like, yeah. But we gonna make money for sure. But if I don't fuck, if I'm not really fucking yeah. with you, I'm fucking with you like that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's different. Of course, you can't you can't get money with somebody, especially like if you can't see eye to eye in certain things. You're always gonna be butting heads at the end of the day. So it's right. just like it don't work out. Right. Right. Hundred percent. Right. Hell yeah. 
Hey, so we're here in San Antonio, Texas. When's the last time you've been to San Antonio? When's the last time you slid around? Was it a show? Was it a feature? You just came around for family time? Uh, it was a show. I don't know when, though. It was a few years back, but I had a show out here a while back. Hell yeah. What's uh, what's uh, one city in Texas like that's... Is it is it Dallas? Like when you when you go perform, that it's just like the best energy. Is it is it back home in Dallas for sure? Yeah, Dallas for sure. Every yeah. time I perform in mm. Dallas, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. What's a what's a one city? Um, what's like besides home? What's one city that you do fuck with? Like you, you you're surprised when the energies are like, yo, I'm not even home. These people. Yeah. Really like what do they show you the, like, the most love out besides you know Dallas? I would think Austin. I'm not sure though. Uh, I'm gonna have to say. Oh, Odessa surprised me. <laughs> I Odessa, ain't, yeah. I ain't, I ain't really know they was fucking with me like that. Okay. Wh- where did you perform at, if you don't mind me asking? El Paso loved me. Yeah. El Paso. Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. I be getting them confused. <laughs> they the same <laughs> shit. They like brothers. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Oh, I love you out there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I got a lot of DMs about that one too. Yeah. Shit, dude. They fucking, yeah. they fucking with Toosie out there hard, yeah, bro. They fucking with Toosie. <laughs> yeah, man. Hell yeah. Who's the, like, the craziest artist that you can say, like, that you've met and you're like, damn, I can't believe I'm right here having a conversation with. I know that's random, but, like, that, that's a really good Yeah, like, have you ever felt starstruck? Where you're like, damn, bro, I'm right here with this guy just chilling. It didn't even have yeah. to be in the studio. You just literally just having a convo with him. It wasn't really an artist. It was more like, I've been around like movie stars and oh, shit. Oh, like a figure? Okay, yeah. so who, who who would you say would be like the, the biggest? I, I wasn't really around them. I just seen them. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I seen yeah. Jamie Foxx. You know what? what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, bro. That's when crazy. I seen them, I was like, what the fuck? That's really Jamie Foxx. <laughs> like, yeah. it was crazy. But any artist, like, I ain't really got down. I wasn't really starstruck mm. by no artists. It's like, like, do you have any influences and stuff like that yeah. that you grew up on? Like, what's that you're a, like, damn, like. My influence was like, Older artists, like when my, mm-hmm. I was younger, my mom and my family, my people, they used to listen to like R&B music, all the oh, old. Okay. So like James Brown, Michael Jackson, all that kind of shit, pop shit. Like, okay. I was grow, I grew up on a variety of different genres of music. I mean, my mama white, and my daddy black, my stepdad was black. Like, I grew up around yeah. a whole bunch of country rap, okay, uh, rock, pop. You know what I'm saying? So it was like that type of shit influenced me. Mm. Just getting all the different views on different sides of the music and. You know what I'm saying? Kind of making it. Yeah, and I can hear it definitely in your songs. Yeah. I know you have one, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like Wild West type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I rock with that one. That yeah. one go hard, bro. Yeah, I fuck with that. Yeah, that That's was one of my favorite ones for sure, man. But I do see the versatility where you have like those different type of elements of where you're rocking with, like that you said, like country, rap. You're bringing everything together. Yeah, it's I actually fire. got a, uh, I'm getting a little rock project together right now. Like, it's not rock, it's kind of like, pop but it's definitely outside Yo. oh that's dope oh, hell yeah so it's like, it's hell diff- yeah it's definitely different yeah the shit that y'all used to you know hell I mean? yeah and do you experiment yeah. along with your sound like do you try to find new boundaries and new things that like when you go in there like i'm not trying to make the same you know type of content every day i want to do something new you kind of you've kind of stuck to the same kind of like style yeah, and concept yeah. for a long time right yeah well shit really it's just like if i go in there and i just it's like just, I never see you on no is, like yeah. auto tune shit or no yeah. or or do, do you? I got I got a few auto tune, but it's like like slight or what? Nothing yeah, crazy. Slight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got some auto tune. You ain't no singing shit it. like nah. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I'm feeling it. Hey, y'all yeah. gonna see. I got some shit. Right, you know yeah, I hear I heard here first on Texas Buzz. You know what I mean? We got that's some crazy dope, stuff, man. a little Tuesday for sure. We got a new style coming out. New Tuesday style. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. No, I think. What's up, Liza? You got any questions? What's up? How you feeling? <laughs> so I'm feeling great. Like, I feel great too. Yeah. Like we need another shot or we we good? No, I didn't mean like that. I <laughs> meant just like genuinely, you I'm know, down like for a shot. Yeah. how you living? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling great. You, you feeling good? Like I said, like the good, bad, and the ugly. Like I just take it. Like I mm-hmm. carry all my ills like mm-hmm. a dog. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So like anything, you know, I deal with a lot of shit that I don't put on camera and all that kind of shit. Yeah. It just is it, life. You know it's lessons, man. Yeah, it, so. it makes you. It makes you the man that you got to become today, yeah, man. So, so you so. you have to consider yourself like pretty private for sure, right? Like yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah. on to putting on yeah. shit on on social media. Yeah, I do keep you, social media strictly for you know music business, yeah. entertainment, entertainment and shit. Entertainment, yeah. Um, Hell yeah. I don't really put too much on there. Hell yeah. yeah. You're, you're more private on that side. You just kind of just use it for what it is. Like, right. all right, this is my music. This is where it's at. Right, right. That's it. Type deal. Are you right. the only one that runs your account, or you, you got you got a team to help you out with that, or like you just yeah, just I'm the only one that run my account now. Like, That's like I up. said, I had a manager a long time ago. I had him doing shit, but it's like it just didn't work out. It was supposed okay. to work out. Hell yeah, hell yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'll be like that. Um, 
Audi, what you got as far as uh, on the music? Um, oh yes, uh, okay. back to the music. I, <laughs> I seen your real life, uh, real life productions interview. Uh, when they asked you about music and stuff, you said that like your mom was kind of tapped into music first when they asked mm. you like, uh, what did your mom say when you were when you when you started rapping and stuff? She was already tapped into the music. Your family had some. Uh, she was more tapped into music. She did poetry. You know oh, what I'm poetry. Saying? So, you yeah. said. Oh, like spoken so, word type deal. Yeah, yeah. So it was like. She she used to read us poems and shit when we was little. Like mm. we used to go through a lot of shit when we was young, and that kind of shit was like motivation. It was like, yeah. a, so, uh, like a soothing to the yeah. situation and, type deal. Yeah, and then you could feel what the fuck she said. Like I don't be saying just because my mom like she can really do poetry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's dope, man. So she been when she met my stepdaddy and shit. He was doing music. She was doing poetry, and it kind of like it kind of went side to side with each yeah, other because i mean shit. it's kind of the same in, in terms of like you guys are both it's spoken word like i said yeah yeah you yeah. know what i mean mm -hmm. hell yeah this one's kind of off the subject but i gotta get this one in i gotta get this one in there um are you mexican are you <laughs> white black are you what what's nah, up what's I'm, your i'm ethnicity? black and white i'm black and white <laughs> like black and white he <laughs> just yeah. yeah okay there we go we clear that up right now hell right here. With the Mexicans, <laughs> hell I, yeah. like, anytime somebody be asking me like I always be playing and be like, you I'm, essay. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. but you know, it could pass as Puerto Rican. Yeah. You could. Yeah. They believe it for sure. Yeah. 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 But I feel like in Texas, everybody is a little Mexican. Yeah. In Texas. Low key. Mm -hmm. Low key yeah. for sure. I love my Mexicans, though. I fuck with all my Mexicans for sure. So. Hell yeah. Definitely, Hell yeah. man. Would you say that San Antonio, I mean, because you say you barely come here, would you say, like, when you they come out here, like, do you, you receive the type of, like, love with Hispanic people, like, just in Dallas? Or, like, what's your, what's your, like, I guess your crowd look like. Do you have a very versatile crowd? Like, have you had somebody be like, yo, you hear my music type deal? Uh, yeah. Like, Shit, like, I got, I kind of got like a versatile crowd, but the majority of my crowd is Mexican. Is you know Mexican? Yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. man. I mean, I think that personally, like a lot of, especially right now, you know, there's a lot of movement out in Texas, and especially you being one of them, of course, right? How do you feel about, you know, these upcoming artists and the talent that's coming up here in Texas? Like, do, do you think that, you know, like this is the new sound that's coming up, or do you feel like it's kind of more of just, uh, you know, a couple of artists have been picked out from, you know, Texas that are getting big only. Like, do you think it's like very censored in terms of like only a certain amount of people can make it in here in Texas? Yeah, yeah. I be having my own little opinion on shit, but like, mm. if anything dealing with Texas, I'm, I, I love it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, whatever, I don't, if it's bad, good, mm. you know what I'm saying? Anything dealing with Texas, I love mm. it, but. Hell yeah. Like as far as like the music industry and shit, you know, it's definitely a lot of changes, like I said, but. A lot of Texas sound for sure. I've been yeah. hearing like yeah, crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, 2023, as far as like the hottest female rappers around, there's like Coyle Ray, there's Ice Spice, Glorilla, there's uh, Megan. Like what's what's one of your top two, three, like hottest like female rappers? Like, hey, she doing her shit, you know? You don't got to be uh, Texas. Uh, like, what's, what's one that calls your attention? Like you fuck with Ice Spice, like. I feel like a lot of like as far as like the guys would be like, oh, I forgot Ice Spice, you know, like yeah, she been. I don't really there. know, like they all doing their shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm gonna say Ice Spice because my little brother he love Ice Spice. So Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. But Hell yeah. yeah, all the female rappers doing their shit right now though. You know all right, I got you, I got you. Hell yeah. Um, before you head out, fam, is there any is there any last things you wanna just yeah. let people know out any there? New any new projects? Shout outs, anything any to projects? look out for? Uh, like I said, shit, I got a. I'm working on this tape right now. There we go. It's gonna be uh, called the Great Two. And there you go. Right after that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that mm. that alternative project together that I was talking about. That's yeah. right. It's kind of different. So, you you know got a little estimation on to when you're gonna drop that, more or less, so we can kind of you know be on the lookout for that. Shit, I'm thinking sometime within two to three months. Bet. You know I'm, I'm just trying to get everything in order. Like I got, like I said, behind mm. closed doors, there'd be a lot of shit going on. Yeah, of course. For like you know the rock shit. Is it finna be like you remember when Wayne dropped like Rebirth and shit like that, or like some oh, other yeah, different shit? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but like you could say the inspiration more towards Billy Eilish. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh okay. that's shit! You know like, oh, because you said right, yeah. like more poppy than rock yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. yeah! Would that be like an artist that you say like you you can genuinely say that people like are really caught off guard when you say yeah I rock with like this artist or like yeah. what artist would you say that you're like? People don't really think I'd be listening to this, but I mean, I rock with it. That's one of them right there. For sure. I, I love Billie Eilish. Like, fuck yeah. It's a yeah. lot of it's a lot of artists. Shout out Billie Eilish. That's in that category that I fuck with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, 
it's a few of them. I can't even give you a whole bunch of names. Hell yeah. I just, like I said, I grew up around different genres. Like music, R&B so, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a whole bunch of people that I fuck with <laughs> in different genres. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I'm, Hell half yeah. Half the time I don't listen to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I really listen to that kind of music. You know yeah, 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 I feel you on that. Shit. It yeah. overdoes it too much when you hear too much rap. So yeah, you just yeah. got to balance it up with different types of genres. Yeah, R&B is sure. pretty dope, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. before you go, is there like a sh- like a shout out you want to make of like an artist yeah. upcoming? Yeah, you yeah. Like uh, shout out to your yeah. people. Ready to see them pop? Yeah. You ready to see them do their thing this year? Like I said, shout out Ace to her. There you go. Ace to her. Shout out. Rizzo, GMB, you know what I'm saying? Ace to Lenine. The whole H2 GMB. Let's go. The whole H2 GMB. There you go. Shout out us. We got a stank. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Shout out. He be rapping and shit. Hell yeah. It's going to be a big year for 2024 for sure, then. Everybody that fuck with me, I want to see win. You know what I'm saying? Like 100%. That's that's how I be going. I want to see all my people win. You know yeah, and that just should be. Your circle should want you to want to win as well as you want them to win too. Mm-hmm. That's how y'all end up, you know, going to where y'all need to be yeah, at. It's sure. that's it's a vibrational thing. I feel like if y'all yeah. have that energy of like, you know, what we're gonna get it. It's gonna happen. The yeah. more the more people, the more energy. I feel like. Nah, for sure. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Before you head out, fam, we just all want to give you your flowers for sure, bro. For real, for real. While you're still real. here, we just want to give you flowers, bro. Pleasure having you here, man. Honestly, yeah. man, I'm honored to have you here. Hell Chet yeah. is super honored to have you here, man. Hell yeah, yeah. You no, know. they fuck with you heavy. They yeah. was real, real lit about yeah. you. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so appreciate it, y'all. It's an honor to have you here, man. And like I said, like you're doing really big things. Been doing big things. And we're just glad that you, you know, had the opportunity to come here and, you know, stop with us. So... You know, shout out to you, bro, and, and more blessings for you for this year, brother, because I know Hell you're yeah. going to do some big things for yourself. For, yeah. for sure, so vice yes, versa, vice versa. I yes, appreciate sir. y'all. Hell yeah. AG, uh, one last one real quick. You're more of a drinker or a smoker? Uh, I'm on probation right now. <laughs> He's like, I, nah, I vape. I, vape. I, brought, <laughs> I was and I'll be more of a smoker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I brought you a, I brought you a, a little care package from uh, from my hemp shop, Doobie's Hemp Co. Me and my cousin got a hemp shop down in Eagle Pass. Mm-hmm. So I brought you a little a little care package. You feel me? It's got it's got some gas in there, edibles. I got you a hoodie and shit. Oh, yeah. So uh, I let you I let you like give it to you know your brother, anybody anybody you fuck with that can still still fuck with that yeah, pack. Yeah, I take the hoodie for sure. I probably give out a smoke. Yeah. Some <laughs> I got you. Hell yeah. Damn. We 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 got some real pressure go. in there for you. Yeah. Um, Let's go. Texas Buzz Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I got work like I'm living at Lowe's. When I die, bury me and my gold. All these niggas gonna pay what they owe. If you don't, might as well hang yourself from a rope. He only did it like eight or nine shows. How the fuck does these young niggas keep getting dope? Tuzi ain't never been out the country, but Tuzi ho fit is from Burberry, London. Like a nigga that ain't got no legs. I promise Lil Tuzi ain't doing no running. When Tuzi was down on his dick, he went got him a peasy and then started hustling. H2G and B with a business. I got the shit sold up like I broke a button. Back then.